Hey YouTube. Today I thought I'd go over our overall plan for our homestead. We've owned the property for a year and a half now, doing a lot of cleaning up, getting everything ready to build. And we're getting ready to start the building process this year, hopefully get our home started building. And we've got an overall plan here where we've got it all laid out on how we want the homestead to be in the next three to five years that it'll take to develop this property. So let's go ahead and get into it. We bought a 42 acre square of land and it had a it has a cemetery on the west side that takes out about an acre so it ends up we have about a 41 acre plot. Um, in the northwest corner we have a rented farm field that we currently rent out. Um, it's about 12 acres of land and on overall on the back side of the property there is also two small fields on the back side of the property that are, are rented right now. They're each about three acres a piece. In the middle of the property, you're gonna see that we have a three and a half acre pond, and there is a hill on the north side that kind of overlooks that pond. That's where we plan on building our, our future cabin, um, overlooking this pond. Um, we also will hopefully get a pole barn in the future so that I can have uh, half of it will be garage space and half of it will be a workshop. I do have a lot of woodworking tools. I'm a hands-on kind of person so I will definitely want a workshop. We've already established the orchard out here so we've got our, our uh, all our fruit trees and our berries already planted out here in the orchard and that's that's gonna be close to our cabin and uh, we will probably end up putting a garden out here or uh, maybe at least some raised beds or you know a part of our garden out in this area closer to the uh, to the cabin as we move to the east of there we have this two-story barn and this two-story barn is what they call a bank barn because it has kind of a bottom level built into the side of a hill there is some animal stables basically stalls on the inside of this barn so we're gonna use this barn uh, for keeping animals in and we planned on fencing in a pasture area um, attached to this barn there's also ample space to be able to store tractors on the inside and there's kinda like a uh, dance floor on the inside that they use for a hayloft so we should be able to store um, you know our our hay in here maybe store some equipment in here as well as the uh, the animals now we do plan on putting a, ch a new chicken coop later on I would like the chickens to actually share the pasture uh, with whatever animals that we have when we free range them I feel a lot better if they were inside of some type of a fence we do have neighbor dogs that do run around here and uh, one day it's bound to happen that they will be eaten by a dog or will lose a chicken one day so I'd like to get them in a fence now to the west of, of the pasture area we already have a shooting range that I've established I am an avid uh, shooter I, I do in like I do like shooting sports and uh, we have that set up with a covered pistol range um, and a lot of uh, metal targets to shoot at and we also have a hundred yard shooting bench to uh, sight in rifles and to shoot um, from a, a longer distance. This may be a, a problem we'll have to find out with animals in the pasture whether the noise bothers them or not so we'll just have to uh, evaluate that once we get animals. As we look at the northeast side of the property, this is where the driveway enters the property. Um, this is where we have our campsite set up. We have a carport that's sitting on top of where an old, one of the old houses was that we tore down. And this, and we have our camper set up out here. Uh, we may leave this campsite for other people to use after our cabin is built. Um, we also have a pole barn up here, and this is. Um, Right now is where all my tools and, and uh, 
stuff are kept. So this is my little workshop area, I guess, is this old pole barn in the front at the moment. As we work our way down the, the east side, we have an area where there was an old barn that we tore down, some grain bins that we had removed, and the concrete pads are still there, and where we are currently uh, gardening. This area we have thought would be a good second pasture area, so this may eventually get fenced in as well to be able to use for more pasture for animals. And then as we look at the rented out field in the front, um, the whole rented out field could be an option, but uh, we may end up fencing off a section of that field to be able to use as a hay field or a third pasture. So it just all depends on how much we get into raising animals. Um, the more animals we get, the more of that rented farm field that we could take away and turn into pasture ground. So, so we've got a plenty of room for expansion for animals. It's just going to be um, wait and see how many animals we get into. My wife really wants to raise animals, so we'll just have to see how that goes. Now as we, we move back to the back of the property, um, of course we said earlier there is a uh, rented farm fields back here. Well right now this is this uh, southeast farm field is where I built my hunting blind. Um, and I plan on turning that into a large food plot area uh, for wildlife and deer. So right now, the way I plan to do this is I plan on probably splitting this three acre field in half with a row of evergreen trees to try to break that up. And then I will also probably put in a couple rows of fruit and nut trees to help break that up even farther. And I will try to put those in line with the hunting blind so that I don't, so that I still have all clear view from the hunting blind of all four of the sections that this food plot will be broken up into. And in between all those trees I will probably plant a lot of perennials and I'll probably have a section or two where I may plant annuals. I'm still thinking about maybe even planting some you know sunflowers or some kind of uh, area just for birds. So but this is gonna be hopefully a, a, a wildlife viewing area basically that hunting blind is basically going to be a dual purpose we really enjoy watching the wildlife out here so we should be able to get in that of an evening and hopefully watch watch the wildlife if we'd like to um, when it's not hunting season so hoping to uh, to really uh, be able to use the hunting blind year round uh, just for our wildlife viewing pleasure basically so we always like sneaking back to this this field and watching the deer of an evening so that'll give us um, hopefully a, a way to help bring in more deer for us to to watch and to hunt later in the season as go over I do have a tree plan basically we have already planned planted our orchard but I, I do plan on uh, planting a bunch of trees and that's what these these dots these colored dots on here are basically how I'm going to uh, plant trees um, in the front we we've already planted some evergreen trees along the front to help screen the campsite you know to kind of help uh, block the view from the road now just south of the campsite there's already a bunch of persimmon trees and some peach trees that we've transplanted so we may plant some more uh, fruit trees in this section. I do have some persimmon trees that I'm trying to grow from seed. We'll see if that works out or not. Um, to the south of that, I'd like to put some type of nut trees. I'm thinking some almonds um, or pecans, you know, in that section. And then the rest of these blue dots, and we'll see how this works out, but I have a bunch of hickory, not hickory, I said that wrong. I have a bunch of chestnut seeds that I am growing into trees and so all these blue dots I'm hoping to plant all these chestnuts along the east side of our property to the to the east of us is a section of, of more trees to the east 
and I'm trying to bring those deer over into our property by planting all these chestnut trees. So I'm hoping to plant chestnut trees along this whole uh, east side of the property and then that's all just to help turn more of my property into woods and trees and to, and to bring in more wildlife on the property. Now the pond in the middle of the property, um, we do plan on eventually putting some docks in some certain areas to fish and maybe clearing out some of the, um, the banks on the south side and some areas so that we can bank fish from the south side of the pond. And we also plan on putting a picnic shelter somewhere near the pond and the cabin so that we can have an outdoor cooking area to be able to spend our evenings outside and and cook and to give us that feel like we're camping even though we we live out there we do enjoy cooking outside and eating outside and just enjoying the overall you know experience of nature so uh, definitely gonna have some type of a picnic shelter hopefully eventually set up near the pond we'll probably put some storage in there to be able to store all our our fishing equipment out there near the pond and that is our overall plan right now that we have laid out for our homestead so we have a, a lot of things here uh, to do here in the future a lot of fencing projects we have gardening projects we have wildlife food plot projects we have fishing docks and hay fields i mean the list goes on and on so if you're interested in how we get this all set up and developed just stay tuned to the channel and uh, we'll keep putting updates up there thanks for watching